Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. I'm currently overseas right now and my internet connection is rather poor. But nevertheless, we will see uh, how we have fared for uh, our clan war. So we will proceed on into the clan war map. Um, as you can see, currently the score is at 43-45. Uh, uh, we are on the downside and uh, I've uh, oh, we have gained another star. And I've brought uh, both my accounts into the war. I'll show you guys some rates later. Uh, we will scout my particular clanmate first. Um, the second lowest is uh, Town Hall 5 and we will see my second account base is a defenseless base. So as you can see it's quite obvious that it got 3 start um, by this guy who actually used dragons, mass dragons on this particular base which only had one can one level 1 cannon defending so uh, it puzzled me a little when people usually use uh, strong troops to attack my this uh, weak base especially when they're using so many dragons and in fact they could just use barbarian archers or even full gobs they will probably just 3 star this base easily um, taking into consideration that there's also no traps in this space, uh, not even a single Tesla or a giant bomb, or even a, a small bomb. So it's really easy to 3 star this space, but, and I'm not surprised that it got 3 star in any walls. So um, we will proceed on into our attacks. So uh, as you can see, the second player has got 2 star uh, by me. I've used my Nook account to attack. So I used a Goiwi to attack uh, this base. Um, I tried to check for a giant bomb, but there wasn't a giant bomb there. So it's a Tesla, as there was a space. So I decided to deploy on the top right, uh, as I would attack uh, the queen at the same time, uh, attacking only one infant at the same time. The CC came out with uh, all archers, dropping a lightning spell to kill all of them. And uh, my golems going in with my Becca going in. Uh, the inferno has locked on to uh, my uh, king, so I decided to freeze it before it actually killed my queen, my king, sorry. And uh, my troops just went all the way in with my wizards taking out the town hall right now. With rich, the uh, wizards are really, really powerful. Even uh, without the help of the king and queen, they can take out the town hall easily with rich. So there's no surprise uh, that you can, uh, you can actually use the wizard to take out uh, town hall tents with. Uh, single infernos easily as this method was used last time when uh, multi infernos wasn't that popular most people uh, still continue using single infernos it was a really good strategy to use a uh, go -wee -wee. i didn't want to use uh, my own pekka because uh, uh, my pekka was only level one so i had to take my own pekka from my main account which was a max level pekka so as you can see this base is just uh, almost uh, wiped out um, but I couldn't 3 star it, but I uh, wish I could have. So if that's it, this raid uh, was over in uh, that two min two min one min minute or so. Uh, we will proceed on with uh, another raid that I'd like to show you guys. This uh, 3 star raid by my clanmate is 100% uh, on the Town Hall 9. Um, using an interesting army com combination of uh, balloons and hawks. So he was really really smart to use uh, balloons to kill to take out the outside defenses first the archer towers and the cannons which uh, led to him using to, uh, his king and queen easily there's no single targeting uh, structures left to kill them quickly and he used it used the balloons to even load out the cc troops which really is a very very smart move deploying uh, wizards on the sides clear the outside structures so that the king and queen will go in and not go to the sides uh, deploying hawks at two areas so that they will spread out and uh, dropping his heal spell really really well uh, dropping at the right time to make sure that the hawks do not uh, die out as quick so once uh, his, the defenses in the middle are actually taken out uh, as you can see uh, the space is almost uh, gone um, as uh, the base is really really not very strong against hawks usually when a town hall uh, is is taken into consideration there's no infernal hawks are really easy and strong to use against them so it's no surprise that he could actually 3 star uh, that particular base. So uh, with, as you can see the score now is 44-45, um, we went up by 1 star just now. Uh, we will try to catch up with uh, the stars and hopefully be able to win the war. Yeah, so we will see how tomorrow.
for, as for now, I'd like to show you guys uh, my attack log that I actually uh, did. Uh, I was using a mass giants with healer, as you can see, to push a little. But uh, I lost one attack as uh, I, I think I screwed up a little. But I'd like to show you guys uh, this particular attack that I did. It's uh, quite a high resource uh, base. As you can see, my internet is lagging a bit, so it's loading quite a while. So uh, as you can see, the DE is on the DE storage on the on the top, with a uh, four of the elixir storage spread around the second uh, walls of the base. So I decided to go in from the top to get the DE storage, and I noticed that uh, there were, the AD was uh, under construction, so I was quite happy with that, so that my healers will not die as quickly, and um, the infernos uh, were actually up, so. It made, it made things a little difficult for the giants as they were set to multi. Multi infernos are usually uh, stronger against the healer giant strategy as uh, it prevents the healer from healing the giants. If uh, not many of you know that, uh, infernos actually stop healing uh, from on any of your troops that have been locked on by the infernos. That's why I decided to freeze the infernos at this point of time and heal them using a healing spell with my king and queen uh, going to attack my king on the outside uh, reached him uh, king queen on the inside taking out the town hall right now healers all down down by the ad queen uh, trying to take out the storages three remaining storages uh, hopefully she can take out the other one i was hoping that she would uh, go for the left one because i know after going for the left one she would uh, go to the right but unfortunately she went to the right to the cc which was uh, really really painful because the, the HP of the CC is really high so nevertheless uh, she still carried on to take out the storage uh, but at this point of time I see that there's no point carrying on I just ended the battle but uh, like what I say winning a raid in Champions League you get a 180,000 elixir and 1,200 uh, DE which really is a nice thing to receive uh, another thing I'd like to uh, do today is to level up my account as you can see on the top left I'm at 52,997 EXP uh, to get to level 288 I need another 3 more EXP so let's just do it right now um, donate to my own account 1, 2, 3 let's go level up 288 yeah so that's it for today I'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on